Tonight at five, anti-death penalty activists are gathering ahead of what they are calling a possible execution spree. This comes after the Oklahoma Attorney General requested seven execution dates. News 4's Angela Shin has details. Anti-death penalty activists met one day before the commutation hearing for Julius Jones, calling for an end to executions. Groups gathering to speak out against the death penalty. This coming after Oklahoma Attorney General John O'Connor requested execution dates for seven inmates. Julius Jones' commutation hearing is scheduled for Monday. He was convicted of killing Edmund businessman Paul Howell in 1999. We're here today also because Oklahoma's Attorney General is seeking to set seven execution dates. Not one, but seven. One of those people has a really, really strong case of innocence to show, and finally he's going to get to put that information forward tomorrow morning. Last week, Oklahoma County District Attorney David Prater filed motions to disqualify two members of the parole board. The Supreme Court denying that. Prater saying in a statement that reads in part, Monday, the state is prepared to present the truth of the circumstances of Paul Howell's senseless murder. If the board objectively considers the truth, they will quickly vote to deny the killer's commutation request. At the event, Charles Keith, the brother of a former Ohio death row inmate, Kevin Keith, also spoke. He says Kevin's death sentence was commuted just 13 days before his execution date. Executions is wrong. It was wrong then, it was wrong for Jesus, he was innocent, and it's wrong now, and these guys are innocent. And as far as the guilty goes, it says in our Bible and in our hearts, thou shall not kill. Angela Shen, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Angela. Well, the Attorney General's office put out a statement at the time of the execution request that reads in part, the seven inmates to be scheduled for execution were convicted of heinous crimes. It goes on to say they, meaning the families, were have endured the lengthy appeals process while waiting decades for justice for horrific crimes their loved ones suffered. Further delays will only perpetuate the injustice. Now, you can find the entire statement on our website.